Your presence here today is a proof that there remains a massive need for children and youth to be recognized and involved on issues and conversations concerning disaster risk reduction. It would be a failure on our part if we do not consult you. I think we are lucky enough because our voices are being heard right now. I know that these persons will help you and influence you to know about Sunday Framework. The curriculum is that we have a subject of disaster risk reduction and readiness. The disaster risk now okay, has a presence of hazard. Aside from unpredictable yung mga disaster, we should be aware of how we can respond. Thank you for watching. From a children's perspective, what does implementation mean? For them, what, what do they want? Mas maganda talagang ma-involve yung mga bata kasi minsan yung mga bata napapabayaan na. We can participate in and facilitate disaster preparedness seminars such as basic life support and educational campaigns, drills, stimulations, lectures, and DRRs in the community. And you are the future and you are the now. You can take action. You have all the concrete, beautiful recommendations that you can start from today, going back to your community. Although the children and youth are vulnerable, but we must also have respect for the agency of the children in development. <clears throat> That's the first. And second, that we need to move away from just humanitarian relief in the Philippines and worldwide, but move into development work as well as preparedness. If we will amplify the voice of the children, of the youth, then we believe that more lives can be empowered and even spared from future calamities or disasters.